Imagine a place where turquoise waves kiss the shores of over 7,600 islands, a tropical wonderland tucked away in Southeast Asia. Welcome to the Philippines, a land bursting with energy, culture, and stories that stretch far beyond the beaches and palm trees. This country isn't just a vacation spot. It's a living, breathing tapestry of cultures and contradictions. One moment you're swaying to the sound of karaoke in a street corner. The next, you're caught up in a heated basketball game played on a makeshift court tucked between houses. But don't let the laid-back vibe fool you. Something big is brewing here. The Philippines is quickly rising as one of Asia's emerging economic powerhouses, full of ambition and untapped potential. And it's not just about business and buzz. This is the only majority Christian nation in Southeast Asia, with a strong Catholic influence, while also being home to a vibrant Muslim population in Mindanao. Together, they create a cultural richness that's as diverse as the islands themselves. But lately, this island nation has taken center stage for a very different reason. Its territorial showdown with China. This standoff over contested waters in the South China Sea has sparked real fears about future conflict. Some experts even believe this region could become the next major global flashpoint. But beyond the headlines and geopolitics lies something even more mind-blowing. An ancient mystery that's changing everything we thought we knew about human history. What if I told you that long before colonization and long before even modern humans, this land held secrets that could rewrite the story of mankind? You see, when most people talk about Philippine history, they start with the Spanish arrival in the 1500s. But the truth? The story goes way deeper. Before colonizers set foot on these islands, there was already a thriving world of culture, trade, and tradition. Much of it lost, wiped out by religious zeal during Spain's brutal conquest. Today, we only glimpse that ancient past through the writings of neighboring civilizations. But thanks to the relentless work of archaeologists and researchers, the forgotten chapters are finally coming to light. One of the most shocking discoveries happened in Luzon, the Philippines' largest island. There, buried beneath layers of time, scientists uncovered something that shook the entire academic world. Stone tools and butchered rhinoceros bones that date back, not thousands, but over 700,000 years. Yes, you heard that right. Seven, hundred, thousand, years. That's over 600,000 years earlier than what scientists had previously believed about human presence in the Philippines. In a site called the Cagayan Valley, a nearly complete skeleton of a rhinoceros was unearthed alongside 57 stone tools, razor-sharp flakes, hammer stones, and more. The bones even showed clear signs of human butchery, cut marks and cracks that suggest ancient humans were hunting and extracting marrow. But here's the twist. No human remains were found. So who made the tools? Who hunted this massive rhino? The leading theory points to Homo erectus, one of our early human ancestors who originally migrate out of Africa. But there's a catch. If no bones were found, can we be sure? And how did they even get to these remote islands? Some scientists believe these early toolmakers may have drifted to the Philippines by accident, clinging to floating mats of mangrove trees torn off the Asian mainland during typhoons. Others suggest the wild idea that they may have used crude boats. We don't know for sure, but what we do know is that the mystery only deepens. Fast forward to 2019, and boom, another jaw-dropping find. Inside a remote cave in Luzon, researchers discovered a brand new species of ancient human. Meet Homo luzonensis, a long-lost relative of ours that nobody saw coming. Fossils of this mysterious hominin, 13 fragments in total, were unearthed after years of painstaking digging in Kalao Cave. 
These remains belonged to at least three individuals, young and old, who lived around 50,000 to 67,000 years ago. Why is this such a big deal? Because Homo luzonensis is unlike any other human ancestor we've ever found. Their physical traits are a weird and wild mix. Some parts resemble modern humans, others echo ancient species like Australopithecus. Their fingers and toes, curved, like tree-climbing pros. It's as if nature took a bit of every chapter in human evolution and stitched it all together in one species. But where did they come from? And could they be connected to the toolmakers who hunted rhinos 700,000 years ago? No one knows. Yet, even more fascinating, Homo luzonensis lived at the same time as other ancient humans. Neanderthals, Denisovans, and even the tiny hobbits of Homo floresiensis found on nearby Flores Island in Indonesia. Imagine a world where different kinds of humans walked the Earth, each writing their own story. But out of all of them, only Homo luzonensis managed to thrive in the dense Philippine jungle. Why? What gave them the edge? This isn't just a footnote in a history book. It's a revelation that forces us to rethink what we know about our own species and what came before us. And just when you think this story couldn't get more surreal, nature drops another bombshell. Imagine a plant with a superpower. One that doesn't just survive in toxic soil. It actually drinks up metal like a sponge. Sounds like a comic book, right? Well, meet Renoria nicolifera, discovered in the Philippines in 2014. This rare plant can absorb massive amounts of nickel, one of the most toxic metals out there, without dying. Scientists believe it could be the key to cleaning up polluted land, turning toxic soil into fertile ground again. Think about that for a second. In a land where ancient humans left their mark and nature defies logic, the Philippines continues to be a place of breathtaking wonder and untold secrets. And we're just scratching the surface. Now picture this. What if, instead of spending millions cleaning up toxic lands wrecked by mining, we could plant a miracle? A plant that naturally soaks up heavy metals from the soil, cleansing the earth, one leaf at a time. Meet Renoria nicolifera, a true superhero in the plant world. It doesn't just survive in nickel-rich soil, it thrives in it. And when harvested, the nickel stored in its leaves can actually be extracted, offering a cleaner, greener way to mine. Game changer? Absolutely. This could revolutionize the mining industry. No more blasting through mountains or destroying habitats. Just fields of these plants quietly drawing metals from the earth while the environment heals itself. Imagine how much cleaner our air, soil and water could be. But here's the catch. This rare plant is on the brink of extinction. So now we're at a crossroads. Will we protect this botanical treasure and unlock a new era of sustainable mining? Or will we let it disappear? Another miracle lost to neglect. The choice is ours. And now, from nature's wonders to humanity's first stories. Hidden in the quiet town of Angono, Rizal, lies a rock face unlike any other, the Angono petroglyphs. Stretching 63 meters across and standing 5 meters tall, it's the oldest known work of art in the Philippines. Etched into this rock wall are over 120 carvings, figures of people, animals, and symbols, believed to date back to around 2500 BC, deep into the Neolithic age. These weren't just decorations. They were messages, rituals, maybe even early forms of healing magic, as some archaeologists believe. Imagine this. Ancient communities gathered here, carving their hopes, fears, and beliefs into stone. These weren't the works of one artist, but of many hands telling a shared story before words were ever written. Each groove in the rock is a whisper from the past, a time when symbols were the only language and every mark held meaning. To protect this legacy, 
the Angono petroglyphs were declared a national cultural treasure in 1973, and standing before them today, you can't help but feel the weight of time and the unbreakable connection between then and now. Because art doesn't just tell stories, it keeps history alive. But just when you think the past couldn't surprise us anymore, it does. In 1986, near the mouth of the Lumbang River, a small sheet of copper changed everything we thought we knew about Philippine history. It's called the Laguna Copper Plate Inscription, and it's the earliest written document ever discovered in the Philippines dating all the way back to 900 AD. Only 7 by 12 inches, this copper plate is etched with a legal message written in Kavi script, an ancient Javanese writing system. And no, it's not a poem or royal decree. It's a receipt. A record that a man named Namwaran had paid off his debt. 865 grams of gold. That's almost a kilo. The inscription then passes that clear debt on to his daughter, Ankatan, securing her financial freedom. What's truly incredible is how this tiny plate reveals a well-structured legal and economic system long before Spanish colonizers arrived. It proves that ancient Filipinos were trading, documenting and operating under their own cultural systems centuries ago. And just when you think you've seen it all, one more discovery takes us even further back. In 2011, on the slopes of Mount Kamhantik in Quezon province, archaeologists stumbled upon something chilling and sacred. A thousand-year-old burial site carved directly into limestone. This wasn't just a bunch of bones in the dirt. These were coffins, man-made, rectangular graves carved with precision into solid rock. A burial practice unlike anything else in Southeast Asia. What made it even more mysterious? Inside some of the graves, they found human teeth still intact. And beside them, fragments of pottery, stone tools, and hints of ancient rituals. The people buried here weren't just surviving. They were part of a sophisticated society with customs, beliefs, and a deep reverence for the dead. And all of this happened long before the Spanish ever set foot on Philippine shores. From prehistoric petroglyphs to metal-absorbing plants, from copper inscriptions to carved burial chambers, the Philippines is a living archive of forgotten wonders. Every discovery peels back another layer of history, revealing just how deep the roots of this nation truly go. And here's the question we're left with. If this is what we've found so far, what else is still hidden, waiting to tell its story? Archaeologists from the National Museum made a discovery that rewrites what we thought we knew about early Philippine civilizations. Buried within a 280-hectare protected area, they unearthed 15 limestone tombs, revealing the remains of a 1,000-year-old village, dating all the way back to 890 to 1030 AD. But here's the kicker. These weren't ordinary graves. These carved limestone coffins were unlike anything ever found in the Philippines, pointing to a burial ritual far more advanced than what we'd seen before. While simpler than Egypt's grand sarcophagi, these stone coffins once had intricately designed lids adorned with pre-colonial motifs, an echo of the beliefs and artistry of that ancient society. Unfortunately, by the time experts arrived, treasure hunters had already looted much of the site. Stealing lids, skeletons, and countless artifacts that could have told us even more about this forgotten world. Still, what was left behind was remarkable. Earthen jars, metal tools, animal bones, and human remains, all signs of a community that was organized, spiritual, and culturally rich, long before colonial influences reached these shores. This wasn't just a burial ground. It was proof of a civilization, thoughtful in its traditions, innovative in its practices, and deeply connected to the land it called home. It's a powerful reminder that the Philippines isn't just a paradise of beaches and islands. 
It's a living, breathing archive of ancient human stories, waiting to be rediscovered. So tell me, with each discovery like this, don't you wonder how many more secrets lie buried just beneath our feet? What else is out there, waiting for someone to listen?